22. The first quarter of the season already in the rearview mirror, and off we go in week five on EA Sports. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. If you just break it down in individual terms, he played really well last week. Zero interceptions, three touchdown passes. Not a whole lot more he could have done to win that game. But you know something's funny when we talk to him. All he focused on were throws he missed, yeah. other opportunities that didn't get done. Good sign of a leader. Great sign of a leader because they didn't win, and that's all he cares about. Mahomes now on first down. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. The numbers for Travis Kelsey last week. Eight catches, 82 yards, and a touchdown. And he's able to pull that last pass in, but this is usually a pretty tough unit to try and maneuver against. They're in the top 10 in the league against the pass, and you and I both know there's not much difference between 1 and 10. On second and inches, Mahomes to the right side. It's Kelsey. Let's go, boy. Let's go. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 49-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. The former LSU Tiger Dante Jackson on the stop. Coming up on a second and six. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards-Alaire. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, this defense for the Raiders, they were terrific last week in the win over Denver. I have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw on tape because they stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire game, ended up getting four sacks total, and made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. Also made it hard for him to escape the pocket and run. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This will approach NFL record territory. It's a 62-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. Partner doesn't seem like it, but that's a tough spot for a kicker. First drive of the game, and they're calling on him. He should be warmed up. He should be into the game, but sometimes... It's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying, if he can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40 yard? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and 10. And the intended receiver that time was Josh Jacobs, but it'll be second down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. Tyreek Hill back deep for Kansas City. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. Let's go, boys. Bring it up. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Yeah, they were in field goal range the last time out but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Here's Edwards-Alaire. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Yeah. 
Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. Mahomes firing complete, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. That'll give him eight that time, and that'll make it third and one. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it, and he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones, talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. Right back to Edwards Alaire on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. On second and 12, Mahomes. The right side going to be caught by Hardman. From midfield, here's Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Treads him with a stiff arm. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Mahomes going to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And he'll go back to Kelsey. This time it's caught. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Toward the sideline, did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Second quarter from KC, it's the Chiefs in possession of the football. We're scoreless after one. And he's got Hardman in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Nicole Hardman, his third touchdown now on the year. As his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And it's now a 7 0 game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. On the return comes Drake. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now a play fake here on first down. Got an open man, it's Ruggs. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn upfield and gain any yardage. Here's second and eight. 
Oh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He'll swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of the story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to it? Yeah, it was really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. It's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. The kick by Carlson is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Set to take over, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot, maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Mahomes caught Kelsey left side. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. He juked him. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion. Just kind of tap it forward to him. Now, it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent gain. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Something we haven't really seen much of from him. An incomplete pass. Yeah, last week he finished at 70%. This week he's up over 80%. I don't know how you slow him down. Pass rush is usually the best way because a quarterback on his back usually can't complete a pass. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw caught by his receiver, Hill. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. To throw, it's Mahomes. Yeah. 
and they finally get to him as he's taken down. Max Crosby in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. Fourth down on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He finds his man complete. That's Jacobs. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll make it second and 10. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. He'll drop to throw. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Chiefs are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. Second and eight. Here's Mahomes to throw. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Mahomes looking to throw on third and two. He gets it complete to Harris. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll drop that off to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's a second down. Mahomes to throw once more. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Now here's Mahomes. This will be caught at about the five. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the five on a pickup of five. So we now proceed to the start of the second half. The final adjustments taking place here for both of these squads. They're about ready for the second half in Kansas City. And for the call, we rejoin Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. It's been a tight game to this point. What do they need to do, Charles, to break through? In the Rush coming, and he's taken down. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And he roams across the 20 to the 24-yard line. A good positive play there, nine yards, but still third and long. 
getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole that closed there quickly at the end. Escaping the pressure right. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Oh, look at the juke. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 37. So here are the Chiefs to take over. They've got the lead here as they begin this drive, trying to get that bad taste out of their mouth from the loss last week to the L.A. Chargers. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. It's a five yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They'll set up to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. They'll set up a throw. They're trying to get it to Ruggs, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the return here will go to the 31-yard line. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training, so he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And the safety, Trayvon Merrig, up to make the play defensively. Vision and speed, two of the attributes that you might say are important for a free safety, and we saw both in evidence there. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. They'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 16, Mahomes. That's caught left side by Hardman. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. And now the red flag out on the field. We'll have a challenge forthcoming. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. 
but even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Second down and three with right around three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Three's all around. Edwards Alaire. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. But he did get a taste the previous week. He got into the end zone, trying his best to get there in this game. So far, he's been denied. Again, Edwards Alaire. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Clyde Edwards Alaire. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that pushes the lead up to 11. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards Alaire. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Las Vegas' offense back out there, ready to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Reception here by Ruggs. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Back to throw here. And oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Now we've got whistles, and the man slow to get up here is Jones. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 45-yard line. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Now a carry for Jacobs. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. I'd have to say that's a pretty darn good run right there. They had seven, what, eight in the box, still able to burn them. They've got to consider themselves lucky they only give up the first down and not a touchdown. Yeah, he put up a good fight, but he's going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job there defensively to push him back on first down. I'm not sure if this is four down territory or not because they can kick the field goal and get it back within a score. But you know that's not what they're thinking right now. A field goal has to be their last option. Off the option, here's Jacobs. And he's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown number eight on the year. And the Raiders are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. They'll look to throw. It's complete. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short. 
And they'll come up empty on the try for two. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst. And if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They go play action. Now Mahomes. It's brought in by Harris. So that one will be accepted. We're back now in KC. And that's going to do it. Clock hits zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Mahomes throw into the hands here of Hardman. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. On first down, Mahomes. That's out to Hill, right side complete. That catch good for only a couple. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he has to get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The Chiefs on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This is third and eight. Throwing now is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? So frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Merrig. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter, turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Completes this out left to Ruggs. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? And not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, well, guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors run around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. So it's third and goal now. And this is where the KC crowd can make it very tough. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he is going to lose yardage here. A terrific job there to keep him out of the end zone. And now it'll be fourth and goal. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. It's their quarterback. Touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Raiders have taken the lead. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. 
So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. So that effort gives them a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. And the interception that ended their previous drive, that might be one we look back on and say that was the turning point of this game. Hey, partner, guess what? There's still time for a few more turning points in this ball game. They're only one score down. Yeah, true. I mean, we could have some twists and turns. Stay tuned. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Finding Edwards Alaire once again. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. Mahomes going to throw. Finding Kelsey. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like Let's right go. at the 50. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and 10, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Mahomes. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Fighting Hardman. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Here's Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that will make this a four-point game. A drive that time of six plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. On the return comes Drake. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. They're down here in a one-score game. But the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Well, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. He'll look to throw. Gets this to Waller. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll look to throw. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. Brings up third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. He's going to let it fly. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't come in. 
That means there's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Down four late, gotta go for it here on fourth down. And he will find his man, Ruggs. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. So this drive spans seven plays, and it winds up in six points for the Raiders. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense and Tyreek Hill heading back out onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. Mahomes to the right side it's Kelsey and he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds three yards the game there second down one final try for Mahomes he'll take his shot for the end zone and did he catch it? He did! A touchdown! One of the most improbable finishes in recent history.